Hello and welcome back to another Wrexham packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And I don't know if it makes any difference. I can't really see with my eyes, right? My eyes are shocking. But I am filming this in uh, Ultra HD at 60 frames per second. It's got a thing that's about it. My technology of me is lost. All I know is it's going to take up twice as much memory as it normally does. So anyway, let's get cracking and let's have one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. So a few weeks ago, I was in Aldi. I'm still going through my freeze. I've told you, Anna, that I've got an absolutely mountain of stuff in my chest freezer that needs using. And today, we're having the Carlos Flatbread Stonebreak Calbrese Salami Pizza. It was $1.99 when I bought it. Uh, <coughs> I'm not sure how much it is now. It cooks from frozen in 16 minutes. And on the Trafalite system, it's 21 grams of fat, 9.2 grams of saturates, uh, 15 grams of sugars, and 2.9 grams of salt. Uh, so that means I'll be taking medication straight after. Uh, I'm hoping it looks something similar to that, because that does actually look pretty good. And this is what it says it is. It's a calbrese salami. Thin and crispy flatbread topped with uh, barbecue sauce, calbrese salami, pepperoni, red onion, and semi-dried tomatoes. <sighs> semi-dried semis. Houses. Uh, it says that. Uh, a store-baked pizza base topped with creme fraiche and barbecue flavoured sauces. Mozzarella cheese, Austrian calbrese salami, red onion, roasted bacon with added water. We love added water. Pepperoni and marinated semi-dried tomatoes, which we've gone through. And it cooks from frozen in 14 to 16 minutes. Uh, I can't fit this in fill fry, so I am going to get this in oven. 180 degrees. Let's get that warmed up. So we'll get cracking. And it's got, wait, milk, 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 wait, wait, in it. It's 385 grams, and I've told you it's from the Thaldi. So let's get down here and have a shufties at it. Trust the old pizza tray. And there is our Calbrese Salami Pizza. $1.99 from uh, Aldi. And uh, these Carlos pizzas are normally pretty decent, you know what I mean? I, I don't think I've had a bad one yet. And you can see that big lumps of red onion. Uh, you can see this, uh, this, the, cal, the what they call it, Calbrese salami on there. Austrian. Uh, we know someone else who was Austrian. Uh, we should not, uh, I don't think we should name him though, should we? I thought it was going to be bigger than that compared to the box though. But then again, saying that. I suppose that it's got to fit in the box. The box looks bigger, a lot bigger than what the pizza is, but it actually isn't. So, uh, you know, for one ninety nine, you can't complain, can you? Oh... Uh, Anything else? Have we missed anything on here? No, we haven't. Right. Uh, let's get this cooked. 14 to 16 minutes. And I'll see you then. Right. So I cooked that for 16 minutes. I took it the full way. All the way. There it is. I should have left it on there so you can have a close look. Should that be a bit? You can see it on there. Let's see if we can put the picture towards it as well. Not looking too bad, is it? Yeah, and it looks like on the picture it's been cut lengthways, and then, by the way, it always looks awkward when I'm uh, when I'm cutting pizzas and stuff because I've got to actually manoeuvre around my tripod. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I'm dancing on ice, but in the kitchen, dancing on the kitchen. You know, fox trotting around my camera pop camera tripod. Right, get like that. I'm waffling again, aren't I? Right, anyway, let's give that a couple of minutes and uh, we're going to get up here and slide that Calbrese salami pizza from Aldi down my gizzard. There it is. One ninety nine from Aldi. Let's get it down my gizzard. The base is nice and crispy. Very cheesy. Mmm. 
Because it's got a big lump of that uh, salami, that cow salami, what it called, wasn't it? Cow salami. I don't know if it's me just picking up, but it tastes very garlic. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. The problem with folding these like a sandwich, the toppings are quite thick on it. So I'm folding it, so I'm pissing out like a taco. Very cheesy though. That red onion is fabulous. Little bits of bacon on it as well. I can't taste that. Between the cheese red onion and that salami. And obviously tomatoes. But that. Mm. That's a bloody good pizza. Do you know what? That is not the healthiest of pizzas, I've got to say. And it tells you that on the traffic light system. Uh, especially with the fat. It's like 30 grams of fat. 46 grams of saturation. Uh, percent, I should say. Not grams. Percent. 48% uh, of salt. 70% sugars. It's quite high in fat, high in sugars. Not very good for you. I would not recommend having this every day of the week. But there were times that are hard, you want a bit of a, a bit of a takeaway, say just yourself or you or, you or two people. That, some curly fries or something like that, you know, Aldi, cost you next to nothing. Takeaway, cost you more for your crater ale, which is a must. So yeah, 199 from Aldi, the uh, Stone Baked Calbrazi Salami Pizza, absolutely fantastic. I liked it, if you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag 2CTB, where I fucking love you.